pass to Gumbali. Gumbali with a turn. Gumbali with an absolute firecracker that hits the side net and gives the Hoosiers a 1 0 lead. My goodness. And Gumbali was a prolific goal scorer coming out of high school for the Columbus crew. And you see here the short throw. He's going to spin. He's got pressure on him, but just hits that volley. And not much the Spartan goalkeeper Nicholas Wild could do, but it's the Dick Hinderlong right on him. There's Lashkar. Lashkar taken away. Ball given back to Indiana. Nick. Donald now will send it to Sarver. Sarver 1v1 with the keeper, and he makes it 2-0. Hoosiers. The break was on, and once McDonald had it, Sarver was his outlet pass, and it was 1v1. Sarver and just gets the win. Un fortunate turn of events here for the Spartans that they've been knocking on the door and you see in transition Hagen struggling to get back Milanese coming across but can't cut the angle off and that is to go out of bounds no foul called but a throw in for the Blue Jays they quickly try to start it and here's the man McGuire McGuire and the big man from Iceland Axel Gudbjörnsson wins it back Right back in, it's McGuire. Oh, he's got a rocket shot. The man can score, and he's got 22 goals. And the Blue Jays can flip with the lead here. What a season he's had. Duncan McGuire, 22 goals. The man from Omaha gives the Blue Jays a 1-0 lead. What a start for one of the best goal scorers in the country, and what a start for the Blue Jays. Creighton on top, 1-0. Is eight. Javi is five, and Isla is two as it's bounced away there. Good tackle there by Stroud. Stroud, Gudbjörnsson, yes! And Duke has tied it. Axel Gudbjörnsson stays with it. Cruz makes a couple saves, but Gudbjörnsson stays with it. And just like that, the five corner kicks on the fifth corner, and it leads to the equalizer, and we're tied at ones. Bean started at against Michigan last year. This year, he actually started quite a few games. As this one comes back across, pings around, and they'll say it went in. Wow, the Blue Jays somehow goes in. And another goal for the Blue Jays. Incredible work. And the answer there from Castro. Castro, who's got... The 10 goals and 8 assists, and the Blue Jays have made it 2-1. to one. And the referee's going to take a look just to make sure, as I re reminded you, we only have a one-camera show here, so they're going to have to look at it down at the fourth. It's the fifth assist, by the way, for Miguel Ventura to make it 2-1 Blue Jays. They're looking to add one here late, and they do! Yes! Wow! An absolute smoke show goal. And you see right there what a rocket shot coming from Charles Auguste. He's already got an assist. That's his third now, his third goal of the season. And the senior from Canada. Oh, my goodness. What a rocket shot for the Blue Jays. And they lead it 3-1. to one. Fifteen thirty-six. What a save from Cruz. Periano kept alive. Oh, and 
it goes in. Masellas just smashed it across. And maybe an own goal will get the official word, but Masella smoked it across so many players there. That's what you want to do. You want to hit it as hard as you can. Did I mention that Duke wanted to score that second goal outside of 15 minutes at 15.30? The score now is Creighton 3, Duke 2. And we got a good one here in Durham, North Carolina. We will wait for official confirmation. It moving methodically. Jacasson sends this into the box. It's Noel! The French connection pays off again. The Panthers go up 1-0 in the second overtime. Valentin Noel with the huge goal. Puts him up 1-0. said it before, Pitt may have a certain je ne sais quoi, I don't know what to make it to the tournament here you see the ball come over are for um, being timid, you, you know they're both physical they're both competitively mature teams there's a lot of traffic in this box, in this goal mouth right now Gallop over the corner again, Syracuse is second 10 minutes in, here's the service deep over Silvera and in Kirk Kellogg scores from the corner spot Syracuse takes the lead. Great service by Kaloff. Whips this ball in. There's so much traffic in the box. Silvera goes up early, does get a hand on it, it looks like. But it does curl into the back post. These services are so hard, and there's so much traffic in there. It's been very good. The only time the Orange have lost team here at SU Soccer Stadium twice. Ball forward towards Kalov, headed away, but still a chance. Christian Curry there to cover the second time. Low drive, it's in! Daniel Pacella! Out of nowhere, off the rebound, we're knotted up at one apiece! His second goal of the season. Just 10 minutes after Kirk Kellogg, just like the first matchup. What a wonderful piece of skill by Pacella to ping that with his left peg inside the post. You can't hit a ball any cleaner than that. Nothing Chile can. That right side, six foot four sophomore. Apoku wins it. Down to Byros. Nathan Apoku streaking forward. He's got space. Apoku still going towards the middle. Johnson, it's in! Levante Johnson puts Syracuse back in front with his 10th goal of the season. Syracuse 2, Vermont 1, right before halftime. The Orange back on the front foot. We talked about Byros' insertion into the game. He can unlock a defense. He did so with the first pass up to Apoku, who crosses it into Levante Johnson for the finish. The early ball into Apoku from Byros is the one.